and Jake. good afternoon and welcome to a very snowy uh Fahati, i think that's how I pronounced island um near newfoundland between newfoundland and mainland uh canada uh where my quest ah, see what i did there um to get this kodiak uh, which you can just about see in front of you there in the snow um from where it was made in sandpoint idaho uh, back to the uk um and it's i'm getting there um we're currently about three thousand miles away from the uk um and i've got real world weather turned on as you can see and the real world time turned on so it's currently uh something o'clock in the morning seven o'clock thereabouts i should imagine um a.m and we're going to do a 120 mile leg uh, north of here uh to somewhere else i can't pronounce uh i'm joined uh on this trip by uh if i can scan around uh straight in front of me over there is uh chris brown good afternoon chris hello everyone you enjoying the snowy weather yeah we don't get much of it down here in africa oh no i should imagine you don't and just behind chris and over to my uh, right is uh sam good afternoon sam hello so did, are you sticking with the one you can't fly or have you gone back to the cessna yeah, um, there may be some cabbage patches around Newfoundland that I can stick it in if anything goes wrong, so I should be okay. <laughs> of course, yeah, that was the same plane, wasn't it? it was when you were flying, yeah. you were went yes. cabbage patch yeah. pick picking. Uh, James is in voice. I don't know if you're actually here yet, James. Are you joining us? Yeah, I'm just loading. Okay. Um, so we're all here. If I drag a little me FS Cloud thing up on screen, there we go. So here we all are in FS Cloud. Um, we are making our way. Actually, I can draft grab the little nav map thing up as well it's probably better i think there we go um so here we are here in flahati island and we're going to be making our way uh just across the water uh up to here to cyph and if i keep zooming out that's the rest of the journey that i've got to do um down through uh, uh iceland um and then faroe islands and back to the tip of the uk so uh, still a fair bit of this journey left to do uh, some of which I'll be streaming, some of which I uh, will be putting on YouTube. Certainly as we get closer to the UK, uh, I'll be sticking more of it on YouTube as well. Um, but yeah, so far a really enjoyable journey. So let's jump in the aircraft because I've been stood outside in the cold. And fire it up. I left the interior light on, I hope it hasn't drained my battery. Um, and let's flick some of these on then. Oh, no, that, that. Oh, that's all gone off. Okay, why hasn't why has gone off now? Why have all my screens gone off? What have I done? I've broken it, haven't I? Um, was it because I've been sat here with the flipping thing running so long? All right, let's put that on. Let's put the fuel forward. Notch. Fuel should still be on. Let's see if it starts. Why are my screens working? Uh, your avionics switched on. Yeah. Weird one. Avionics. Avionics. Well, I can see the right hand side of the screen. It's saying that I've got the ignition on, but nothing else is actually. None of the other screens are live. That's very bizarre. Oh, hang on, I don't have the panel lights on. <clears throat> okay, my bad. Uh, taxi lights are on, there we go. Uh, the ice, I think I'll need that, and a bit of pizza heat, definitely. Right, so we're going to uh, CYPH, which is 122 miles away. So here we are here, and we're going to be heading, heading 30... I can now set my portrait mine up already, which pretty much is all anyway. I'm going to say that I can set my autopilot too, but I can't help but feel like that might be my famous last words. <laughs> yeah, it might not be uh, 
We're like, oh look, cabbages. That's, <laughs> that's all we can hear. Right. I so, see them in my sleep now. <laughs> so this thing also, because it's the uh, the, the Quest Kodiak, I've got all sorts of things like to get to take the tie downs off, and there's a little electric tug in front of me as well. Um, so I uh, it keeps going back into simplified mode. Is that why it keeps refueling itself? I saved it in realistic mode. Every time I get in, it's full of fuel. Really annoying because I don't want it full of fuel. Well, no, it does default to the simplified mode, which is annoying. Yeah, because I want to get the fuel down, but it keeps being full all the time. Um, right, window reflection on electric, so off because that could get in the way when I start to move. Um, GPU off, that's fine. Brakes are on. Right, we are ready to go. So, livery wise, I'm stuck to give it my own livery, which is designed by Chris Brown, uh, which you'll see more in the daylight. Yeah, I'm carrying on. I'm just under 2.7 tons. It's a fair bit of weight. And I've got the skis on. Right, so we're going to have a longer tie down. Oh, James is there now. Sam's there. Chris has disappeared. That's why there's this cloud problems. No worries, I can catch you up. Okay. Right, well, you found where the uh, runway was, Sam. <laughs> yeah. That might be all I'm good for, potentially, but I can lead you the way if you want. Was there a taxiway up to it, or is it just up and turn around and come um, I've got the winter mod on, so all I can kind of see is the snow's a little bit darker where the grass is, so I'll try and stay in between that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my professional... That's your professional advice. I'll uh, see if I can... Oh. Well, are you having issues? I think you'll be able to find out just looking at my plane. Alright, Sam's off. Brakes off. Got a very, very strong crosswind as well if you look over to the windsock, so um, it doesn't really matter which runway we take off. I'm, I'm going to turn left though, I think. No, I'm full left rudder, uh, full left tiller, sorry. I'm still going straight forward. <laughs> that's handy. That would be the ice. Yeah, and I say it's not as cold here as it is where we're going to end up. No, that's concerning. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sliding. Yeah, it's... Uh... Which could make takeoff interesting. It did my previous one, yeah. I'm just following you, so... Those lights probably marking the end of the runway, aren't they? Yeah, I'm going to give it a bit of a... I was going to say a Scandinavian flick, but that's probably not the right word, so I don't want to flip it upside down. Wow, this could certainly be an interesting takeoff. Yeah. I know to mention that one of you is showing up as a 767. Fantastic. It's an air cannon delivery. That's probably Sam. Oh, it's got that right. I have got an air cannon delivery. 767. Right, I believe I'm on the runway. <laughs> I think the wrong way is that thing you just came back, came down. Yeah. Right, 
I'm still moving to the left a little bit. <laughs> There's lights I can see down the other end. I'm guessing that's the other end of the runway. Yeah. So aim for Look them. Look at that windsock. Wow. Yeah. That is a crosswind. It's only going to make so for an interesting test. Yeah. Look, this is getting light. Should be able to see the ground when you crash into it. Yeah, there's that. Okay, I think I'm going to... Uh Attempt what? something. I wouldn't say take off, but I'm not sure. Punch it, I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Hello, Liam. How are we doing? Welcome to what will be um, an attempt at taking off. Right, Sam's on his way. I am going pretty much to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Which airport in the UK you're landing at? We're not. We're landing at an airport in Newfoundland. Right, I'm going to go. Okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> a tad rough. Oh. Jesus. Well, I'm up in the air. I am for now. <laughs> Alright, let's put the autopilot on. Just has to get me in the head, heading in the right direction. Huh. Right, so you should get James and uh, Chris hopefully following us. I can turn with taxi lights off now. Yeah, that weather's rough. So yeah, if you have just joined, you've got real world weather turned on. Um, and because of where I am in uh, Canada, or well, between Canada and Newfoundland, um, this is what it's like. And the airport is minus uh, two where we were here. Uh, no, sorry, minus four uh, where we were here. And where we're going to is minus 22. And it's only uh, 120 miles away. So, a little bit rough. It's a tad. Um, I don't know what we think about altitude. I'm thinking something low, like 4,500 or something like that. Have you guys left the ground yet? I've just reloaded. It's going to be taxing now. Okay. Are you James? I'm airborne. Hey. Oh, I'm still being ignition on. Let's turn that off. Let's turn the bypass on because we've got some. Engine's running a bit fast. Yeah, I'm not going that quickly, surprisingly. I'm in the climb as well. Yeah, 
it's going to be an interesting flight. Currently saying an hour and 27 minutes, but because I'm only doing 99 knots. This is a Spitfire, so it's like, yeah, so I better get out the back. <laughs> You're in your Spitfire again. <laughs> well, yeah, it's literally the only thing that I, the only single engine plane that I've had to keep up with is not keep it tan. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Right, picking up speed. But it's definitely a bit rough. So, yeah, there's the livery um, for the plane. There's James over there. And Sam's back there, and Chris is there. Let's think we're all there, boy. And we're heading in roughly the right direction. Does look like we're about to jump to warp speed. Flying into this. And into cloud we go. Right, four and a half thousand feet. And it's saying uh, somewhere around 49 minutes until we crash. I don't know what the. Oh, I don't know if it's like reasonably straight into the uh, the airport. Two three, I think we should come in at. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be hand flying in this. Joys of an autopilot. Because that's pretty rubbish weather. This is James, this is Chris, and they're all still there. Just taking the long route round the back. <laughs> zoom out a bit and see you all around. Chris is going completely the wrong direction according to me. Oh yeah, and so Sam. That's no real shock though. No, that's true. If I bring in the uh, we go, FS cloud, so we're going this way. And Sam's going this way. And so Chris. Well, hopefully we'll end up at the right same place at the uh, roughly the same sort of time. Right, let's bring the uh, RPM back. I do love this plane. Which is a good thing, because I'll be spending a lot of time in it over the next few weeks. What have I done in it so far, hours-wise? Uh, 11 hours. Uh, that's engine time. Isn't it? Flight time. I'm not adding up the flight time. Engine time, though, 11 hours. I've still got to start and stop the flight time by myself, haven't I? Which is supposed to do as a proper pilot. Are the runways clear of traffic? This looks like fun. Uh, yeah, there was only us on the runways. Oh, I can see blue sky. It's suddenly got light. Am I speeding off without you guys? Yeah, definitely liking the Kodiak. I what other Avengers I think. I'll end up turning it into a cargo bane, I think, when we do a bit of uh, FS economy. Wow, that looks impressive. Above the clouds we go. I'm just sort of starting to come through now. Does look nice. What else do you add? Uh, four thousand five hundred. Cool, thank you. And 
cruising along quite nicely about 161. Current heading of um, 035. Yeah, we'll have to try and fly something without the G1000. I think if I get that CRJ, then that's going to be uh, interesting. I will miss the sound of a prop. But speed, speed is king. I see that Mr. Spaniel has spawned at the airport. Aha! He's going to try and chase. Oh, yeah, I just spotted that. He's going to try and chase us. Will he join voice? That's the thing. Come on, Kev, you can do it. We know you're Welsh, but yeah, that's fine. Well, Google Translate is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually 39 minutes to go. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to see more of me uh, attempting to get this plane back, then uh, some of it I'll be streaming. I will stick chunks of it on uh, on YouTube. But join the Discord server, which I'll link in the description below. And you can follow the uh, exploits in uh, picture form. I'll certainly stream the last leg and uh, probably a couple of the shorter legs in between and maybe even do a couple more YouTube videos. Something under an hour um, will certainly be good for YouTube. But so I've got a 444 mile stretch that's going to be about a three hour flight. Um, that could be a bit much. I'm about to get hunted down by a Spitfire. Well, according to me, you're behind me. I don't know what plane That's probably a good thing. Because you'll be in your sights the other day. So yeah, the joys of FS Cloud being able to be multiplayer flying on cross platform as well. Uh, me, Chris and Sam are all in X Plane. Um, and James is in uh, FSX. And it works hopelessly. A couple of issues we've had where James hasn't been seeing the run well, not seeing necessarily the runway. But taxiways and stuff the same place we are but when you get to point A to point B it works and FS Cloud is free you like free and then my problem today I can't see anybody else's plane so this is going to be interesting when I join them <laughs> was, we had that issue before all of a sudden they appeared though didn't they yeah everything came right by itself today and not so much So I've got James and Chris back there. Can't see uh, can't see Sam anywhere. Are you above us? Below us? I um, set a little bit of a higher altitude just in case, for the obvious. <laughs> just to give me a little bit more glide time. <laughs> um, I'm currently at 10,000, just approaching 11. That's just while I sort of some figure high. out the... Yeah. Uh, I kind of cheat though, because I've got two engines. Ah, oh, well there is that. Yeah, I do like this um, Kodiak because the quality and detail and stuff is absolutely awesome. And really, really nice. So flying at this time of the day, certainly every Sunday, uh, as we'll do for the next uh, however many weeks it takes, it's going to be getting lighter and lighter, which is handy because we're getting closer and closer. A really nice red hue in the cockpit now, it's lovely. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I've got that going on, it's really, really nice. Yeah, the TBM is going to be my next purchase, um, which will be uh, my Christmas present. And then, uh, well, maybe even earlier if I get back to the UK earlier. I'll do, I do plan on uh, having a bit of a round the UK tour, which I might even try a different aircraft. I might even try a twin to go around the UK. But with Orbex, if I get that in the UK, 
then uh, as you were saying before Sam I should be going low and slow really yeah you want something like just your Cessna you, you've got your default one anyway and that's got the REP package on which is cool yeah Payware hey, aircraft with that so, yeah so this will be taking me as far as Wick and then uh, your TBM should only cost you £20 shouldn't it uh, yeah, because uh, I think um, Kev put a wager on as well. I'll have to scroll back through through the chat. Really? I'm sure he did. I'm sure he said he'd match it. Yeah. So if that's the case, then uh, yeah, it's going to be a pretty cheap TBM. Because there's no way it's going to take me till Christmas Day. Um, yeah, there's a bet on if you're watching this that uh, I couldn't get this plane from Sandpoint, Idaho um, back to the UK without cheating, um, without speeding up time or anything uh, by Christmas Day. And well, considering we're only 3,000 miles away now, um, yeah, it's definitely doable. I think I must have done 400 miles yesterday, I think. Once you start getting into it, though, does it just disappears? As behind you it's, it seems like you've done so much already yeah in terms of if you if you look at the map from where you've come from because you started originally at um san diego oh so that's literally west coast of america so the furthest point of america pretty much you could think of uh, afternoon chaos um so yeah it took the 172 from san diego to colorado then back to backtrack back up to sandpoint and then a flown this from sandpoint so yeah, done a fair few miles already. Can't believe my headed selector worked off stream, and now we're on stream. It doesn't. Typical. Yeah. James and Chris are back there. Sam is up there somewhere. <laughs> up above. Yeah, this <laughs> plane looks really smart. Actually, the light now on it, it does look really smart. Yeah, it's nice. Explain lighting looks fantastic on anything, really. Yeah. I think that's right for my thumb there. I've got a bit of a sun. That's got a big thumb there, right there, I think. Yeah, cruising along at a rather nice 163, 164 now, which is about the quickest I've had this thing. Uh, especially because it keeps filling it up with fuel every time. <laughs> well, I suppose I could take it out, couldn't I? I could change the weights and balances and take fuel out before I start flying. That just seems a bit odd. We'll have to look and see if there's a way, we'll have to Google it, see if anybody's worked out a way of actually getting this to launch in um, realistic mode rather than simplified mode. Actually, I don't need a bypass on now. Mm. Turn that off. There you go. Not another thing without Chris, I've got no idea. I'll be getting slower and slower and slower everywhere. Are you going downhill, says Chaos? No. Just the angular plane. It looks like it's going downhill. No, flying uh, straight and level. With 31 minutes to go before arrival, it says over there, and distance of 83 miles to go. With cloud coming up. Oh, I've got the aircon on, what's the temperature? Outside air temperature minus 25, that's cold. Um, we put the aircon on, so I think the cabin temperature minus 2. Put the aircon on, now it says minus 1. Yeah, great. Toasty minus 1. There we go, 17. 18 degrees. 20 degrees, that'll do. Passengers can be at 4 degrees, I don't care about them. 
I mean, neither I've got the door shut. Degrees. You can actually hear the blowers as well, which I quite like. Thermic temperature, the engine temperatures uh, 675, that's quite nice. RPM 2050, probably bring that back a little tiny bit. Uh, torque at 1880. Fuel flow 74 gallons an hour. It's a lot more than a Cessna. Still behind me. Uh, yes, we are flying over water. A few little islands scattered about all above the clouds. So. As we're seeing it's cloudy. Hotel Alpha Mike 1960, Cass Cavill here. You are permitted to follow your flight plan until we contact you again. Expect runway 33. Okay, so not a great landing. 10 points. Not quite a great landing if you only got 10 points. The landing. Sixty-six now. Got a few little mount, uh, well, say mountainous little islands poking up through the cloud, uh, just where you are now, not through the cloud, through the water, but we can't see them. Just a cloudy trip. Yeah, I mean the clouds do look amazing, but they do get a bit repetitive after a while. Yeah. Flying around to the candy floss factory. Yeah. The floss is softer than cabbage, so <laughs> and I know this. <laughs> it's a thing you found out. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a repaint with some sort of cabbage on the tail. You're going to have to do it, yeah. Just, just, gonna have to just put a, t a token <laughs> cabbage. Maybe Ca on my 757 cargo aircraft it can be called the cabbage or something. <laughs> the cabbage express. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to look at FS uh, economy. See if we can set up a Sims and stuff. Um, business of sorts. That would be pretty cool. It would be cool. You can sort of tie it in with everything then as well. You could sort of do uh, a movement on Trade Sim World, move some stuff across and then from there use Eurotruck 
and then use FSE and do a fly with it. It's quite good. Ah, that's a good idea. And you just sort of tie different uh, sims in, which would be pretty cool. Maybe one day they'll tie them all together so you can actually use FS economy or just an economy uh, add-on in everything, which would be really, really good. Well, that's just one of those sort of dream scenario things, isn't it, where you've got to get yeah. a cargo from, I don't know, somewhere in the UK to, work. yeah, to Holland, and you, you drive it to an airport in Euro Truck, and then collect it in an aircraft and fly it to Holland, and then drive it from the airport in Euro Truck again. That would be cool. Yeah. Which I suppose you can sort of do, if there's, in ETS2, if you add somewhere that you know where's an airport. Um, I did it, um, I took some stuff from uh, Birmingham to Stavanger. And the airport's modelled on that, on the uh, Scandinavian pack, and then I took off from Stavanger and taking it to Tromso, I think, in Norway. That was good. That's a good idea. Yeah. It'd be quite cool for a stream. You can start like start your truck stream, drive to somewhere with an airport, and then continue on through X plane. Yeah, uh, Harry. Good yeah. afternoon. Yeah, which is what I was going to try and do with um, um, a tourist bus sim coming out. Yeah, yeah. Because um, that that quite. starts with you leaving the airport in um, Puerto Ventura. So I thought, which I will, I was told to do something flying into Puerto Rico, but it would be nice to do something from like, where I live. Um, train sim comes through Swindon. But I could have got a train from, driven a train from here to an airport and flown to Puerto Rico and then started tourist bus sim. But I don't think I'll get time for that now because it comes out in two Wait. weeks. You're going to be either Bristol or Cardiff, I'd imagine. Cardiff's a little bit further than Bristol, but you're about 70 miles away, something like that. Or Oxford, if you're willing to walk as well. Yeah, well, my closest one's Cotswold or Gloucester. Uh, right, we've got a question. I uh, don't know if you can help, but I'm looking to buy an airliner that can be used in VR in x 11. Do you have any ideas? Not, don't know about VR. If I crash, it's because I'm having a quick look for you. <laughs> you don't want to go to Cardiff. Oh, hello. Hi, oh, Spanny Leos. Oh, we, hello. How are we doing? How are you, mate? Is Here we this thing working okay? Yeah, it's working fine. I'll just turn you up a little bit volume-wise. No, you're fine. Oh, cool. It took me a while to set it up. <laughs> so you're, you're behind, have you taken off yet? You're behind us somewhere. It's a little yeah, bit behind me. So like the plane is static almost. Yeah, it doesn't look like my plane is static. I'm just flying through the clouds. I'll go back to inside you. You should see some stuff going on. So currently only 20 minutes away. I'm just getting into the flight now. How far is the next? I'm just thinking now. It's more interesting for me now the Shadow 2. I'm almost thinking... Could we bypass this? How far is the next? The next airport. The next one is 98 nautical miles. That's going to about 40 minutes or so, isn't it? So yeah, with, regards to the, with regards to the VR aircraft, what I'm reading from Laminar is that the, uh, the Zebo 737 at the minute is the only airline that's compatible, which is good because it's free. There you go, Harry. Zebo 737, which if you join our Discord server, um, which link's just come up. Um, there's a link in the mod spreadsheet section to Zebo 737. The new one is fantastic as well, I must say. Um, it's payware quality aircraft. Excellent. And FS Cloud, yes, it is free. Uh, Zebo 737 is what I tried, says Harry, uh, but the sounds are really weird. Um, you do have to use the F mod sound pack that they. Uh, you pop that in it will sound a lot better because I think it just uses a default sound. There you go. You get the uh, where you get the aircraft from there'll be a list of uh, things that they recommend that you download with it so you've got the uh, XFMC add-on and there'll be a little 
section marked F mod sound. If you just pop that directly into the folder, it will adjust the sounds and they'll sound a lot more realistic. He's saying the link is broken to the F mod sound pack. I searched all over, well, but I can't find a mirror for it. Uh, on my uh, on our Discord, I'll try and find a working link for it. Post it on in a bit if you want. There you go. Join the Discord server then, Harry. And um, if we find a working link, post it on the uh, mod spreadsheet. Well, so how far behind us are you then, Kev? Uh, bear with me, I'll tell you now. Start descending because all of a sudden I'm at like 13,000 feet. <laughs> out the window, it looks so nice, I didn't realise I was... Uh... Oh there we go, Harry's joined Discord, welcome. See, so yeah, we're only 50 miles and 19 minutes away from... It's got quick. Well, that's why I was thinking about bypassing it and going straight to the next one. But that's only 98 miles away. So the FS Cloud, I need to plug in only all the software. Uh, you need to plug it into X-Plane. Or you just tell FS Cloud where your X-Plane is. Right. Okay, the next airport, if you want to navigate, there is uh, Charlie Yankee Papa X-Ray. What do you reckon, though, guys? Do you want to skip it? Do you want to go to the next one? No, I'm happy to do that. James? Hello, thank you. bit quiet. Uh, what about you, Kev? Hi, Kim. We've heard that. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, so let me go back into the uh, direct two then. So, Charlie Yanker Papa X ray. Discord server, so uh, if you need any help with uh, getting FS Cloud up and running, make a comment in the flight, 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 flight section. Try and join Discord through the app. We showed you join, I think. It does say you joined twice. Right, you can do that unless you joined and left and joined again. But no, it does show you're in, show you're online with the uh, Kappa as your uh, avatar thing. Sorry, guys, what's the new destination? Uh, Charlie Yankee, Ch Charlie Yankee Papa X ray. Bernie took, apparently. Yeah, that's how you pronounce that. Probably not pronounce that at all right, but there we go. Uh, Close enough. What's the weather like there? Oh, it's a balmy mi minus 19. That's alright. Glasses. I actually might need some glasses because the sun's just come out. Oh. 
so there we go so we bypass one gets us a little bit closer to getting the money off the tux which is always good it's good above the cloud and there we go so we've got chris james and sam behind us they're the right way yay Oh yeah, you are. You will admit at this point I've nearly crashed into you about four times. Who oh, crashed into Sam? No, into you. Oh really? Okay. I've nearly crashed into you about four times. <laughs> What's on this one? Nearly. So this definitely gets us a bit further up into uh, Newfoundland now then. I've just noticed something really cool okay. on the on the wing of my plane. Uh, everything's moving on it, so all the little lots of bolts and stuff, everything's wobbling. Oh, nice. That's detail. Yeah, that might ring. Yeah, that might there you go. So this is where we started. CYSK. We were going to CYPH. Actually, it's pretty much a straight-on route, isn't it? Um, to CYPX. Um, and then the next leg, which we'll probably do. Maybe tonight, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, we'll get, I'll see if I can get up to um, that 444 mile one in it. That's the, that's the good one, yeah. That's the good one. I need to do that next weekend. So maybe Wednesday night. If I can get to CTP9 by Wednesday, then we do that to uh, CYFB, which is 182 miles on Wednesday night. And then that leaves me the long haul for them to do next weekend. That works. And that gets us into uh, Greenland. There's a quite long one there, 250. And then a 346. Yikes. And then... You get to um, Iceland, then they all start to roll back a bit. They're not too bad, are they? I don't think. 382 then. Uh, across to Iceland. 194 across Iceland. 253 to the Faroe Isles. And then... 250 down to Wick. So a couple of long legs ahead, but yeah, not too bad. So there's the temperature of where we're going now, minus 19. So dirt runway, medium edge lights, great. We've well, we got a dirt runway where we're going now. Yeah. <laughs> so sure after that, that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's 10 legs to go this one to get back to the UK and what was Christmas? Six weeks? Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I've got a Christmas calculator on. Three days, ten hours, seven minutes and 48 seconds. <laughs> Easier. Be precise. So one leg every five days? I think easy. someone owes you ten pounds. I think that's going to be a thing. Yeah, he's, gone, he's been very quiet the last couple of days. As I talked to him, since since um, since Chris put that little um, route planning off, that yeah, went a bit quiet over there. Yeah, Tuck has been. Hmm, I'm, I'm seeing him in two weeks' time, so uh, I'll just say, just give it a ten now. I might just have a little fuel problem here because I only took enough fuel to do the one leg. Uh, not exactly if my plane was most economical or high to speed here. Well, if you need to go higher or faster, go for it. That means you can get there. Uh, it's going to be a bit borderline. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Worst comes to worse, I can find some cabbages. <laughs> go. That no, makes sense. The life of the aircraft and the fuselage and landing in cabbages. There you go. So we've got no power. I'll actually get out and look in the back. Uh, no passengers on board. We're sporting the uh, executive interior in this. Because, you know, we've upgraded uh, with the skis. I think we've got cargo pods on as well. We do seem to be just flying in the same cloud for the last like, half an hour. Well, we've got uh, 126 miles to go, which is down here. And it gives us a time, which is great, of 46 minutes to our arrival. So 
that's when the video will end if you're watching this on YouTube and then the stream will end if you're not. Hopefully this all Devonport here. You are permitted to follow your flight plan until we contact you again. Expect runway 24. Okay, it would be nice to get out of this cloud. Papal Charlie, Dubai International here. You are permitted to follow your flight plan until we contact you again. Expect runway 20. Going to Dubai. Hotel Papa Charlie, Devonport here. You are permitted to follow your flight plan until we contact you again. Expect runway 24. Uh, Expect runway 24. Expect runway 24. Expect runway 24. I, I returned those uh, Bayer Dynamics because um, they just weren't loud enough for me. So I might have to have a look at um, Turtle Beach. I've always had Turtle Beach up until now. They've always been really good. Yeah, Kev, if, if you get a chance, can you post somewhere what, uh, what model it is you've got? Yeah, of course I can. Yeah, these um, Rockat ones that I'm using are uh, getting a bit distorted at volume. Certainly, I'm watching sort of TV and movies through. So I'm seeing like volume 15 on the computer. Don't know what is quite loud. Blimey! Yeah, well, mine goes through the mixing desk, so. Yeah, the, the, the quality of those um, Bayer Dynamics was really nice. It, uh, everything sounded crystal clear, but they just weren't loud. I was the way, man. Yeah, which you, you sacrificed volume. I suppose they're designed to be in a studio environment where you've got 
all the power behind them to drive them. So, yeah, I definitely need a new set. And it could be if the microphone's in good quality, I can get rid of all these gubbins I've got here with this microphone and stuff and just use a boom mic. I'd have to do some testing. Now, when you hit land, um, following this coast, following the coastline straight up, you can see the coastline. That is. Yeah, I'm still above the cloud. I might descend actually to get down below the cloud. I was just thinking the same thing. I want to kind of look at it. Looks yeah, like I'm, I'm going to descend down to three and a half thousand. Should get down below the cloud. Famous, famous last words. I'm just going to descend and have a look what it looks like. If we hear O, oh, then I'll, I'll pull up again. I think I'll just go with the brace, brace, brace this time. <laughs> cabbages, cabbages, cabbages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the other good thing I've got for those of you watching um, is SciTech panels. Um, I've got the uh, multi panel, which does the autopilot uh, pitch flaps, uh, auto throttle, or I'd use that. And I've got the switch panel, which turns all the lights and uh, electrics and stuff on. Um, both of which are pretty awesome. I can't wait to get a plane with landing gear, so I can actually use my landing gear switch. Yeah, the radio stack one, um, can't really see the benefit of, to be honest. And the same with the, um, the ones that give you your um, sort of gyro compass and stuff like that. But th these two are certainly awesome. <laughs> I just put a link for the headphones in the chat. I can see that. Cheers, Kev. And yeah, them side deck panels are amazing. Yeah, you've got the multi panel, haven't you? Yeah, I'm hoping Father Christmas brings me the switch panel. <laughs> Just having room for them, so I've got the multi panel under my left hand monitor and the switch panel under my right hand monitor. Um, which, if I did jiggle in front of me where the middle monitor is, I've got the um, audio compressor under the monitor with the keyboard to my other PC on top of that. So I could do some jiggling around and put another panel there, but I don't think it's the throttle body I've been looking at. Big to Chris the other night. Um, I think that's going to be my next purchase, but again, I've got to find somewhere to put it. At least I can adjust the mixture and stuff. Yeah, that's another Christmas present. A bit more floral quadrant. <laughs> You're expecting a lot for Christmas. She spoils me fair play to her. Uh, I'm at three and a half thousand, and I'm still above the cloud. Um, get. Mind you, I'm not. Um, what's everybody's altimeter set at? Just wondering if mine's. Oh, well, actually, let me check and see what it is at the. With the descent into cloud and not seeing any ground, I don't want to get surprised again. Three zero zero three, where are we going? I'm only one set. I'm only one off. Two thousand five hundred, and I've still got no uh, visibility. Yeah, three zero zero three. Um, so I'm better off staying above the cloud then, aren't I? Shame because it'd be nice to see some of the scenery. But I wanted to see the coastline as we were coming up. Obviously, with the um, winter mod on it, would have looked quite nice. Sort of snow and ice, but we'll talk through why why the tag above your face of two thousand five hundred. Why you can't go to two thousand? Yeah, it's just like be a cloudy run in. Chris is below, James is somewhere back there, and Sam's probably going cabbage patch diving. Coast. Cabbage coast, I believe they call it. <laughs> the cabbage coast. You can see here. Shame it wasn't a lettuce field, wasn't it? Because there'd be a joke somewhere about an iceberg lettuce. There would be. 
this, this is where we're flying over now. So CYPH, this is where we were going to land. So CYPH, we're just coming past it now. Um, so that's where we originally were going to stop, but we're carrying on. So 36 minutes to go now until we arrive. Do you need to be in a community like Ratsin? What, for FS Cloud? No. just under 2,000 feet on out of the clouds. That's pretty low. How high is the terrain around here then? Well, I'm hoping not that high. I've got my terrain warning on. It hasn't shouted at me yet, so it should uh, be good. Okay, let me descend to 2,000. Then landing off at 1,800. Let me descend to 2,000. No FS clouds, the... Um, Multiplayer plugin. This thing. That's FS Cloud. It shows where we all are, and then this is the bit that links us all together. see now for the next few minutes like you said.
Right, so we'll climb again. Oh, there's some ground. I can see the ground. It's down there. Look, there it is. But it looks quite mountainous or hilly. But there's definitely it's ground. About making something down there. Yeah, there's ground down there. Visibility's not fantastic on my. Uh, it says six miles on the. Uh, Meta, but I've not definitely not got six miles here. Are we landing at CYPX? Uh, yes, we're hoping to land at CYPX. What's the name of the airport, Steve? Sorry, <laughs> that's what um, Spaniard is just after Charlie Anka Papa Extra. I meant the actual name. Oh, th that place. <laughs> the beginning with P. It's a P place, yeah. I'll have a P please, Bob. Yeah. The burn you took? It's the one. Very well said. I know we're probably butchering the pronunciation, but... Yeah. We got better than me now. I was just trying to work it out in my head. <laughs> Anyone know any Eskimos? No. Nobody I want to rub, rub noses with. Does Bjork count? <laughs> you, you know Bjork? Fair play. <laughs> we won't be seeing her till Reykjavik, I wouldn't have thought. No. <laughs> you can hop on. In the nicest sense of the world. Right, climb back up to 4500 then. Well, I could just stay at 35 back here. It's just as cloudy the way, I'll just stay at 35. I've tried. I've been between 10,000 and 1,000 feet, and it's just pure cloud for me. So, which is going to make the uh, landing interesting. <laughs> yeah. What's the um, what's the runway heading? Uh, Especially zero. if you were stupid and put the winter mod on, like someone might have done. Yeah, well, I tried to do that, but it just yeah. wouldn't play ball with me. Probably best you didn't, because it's very, very difficult to see it now. And if it's a gravel runway, I imagine with the textures might go to be white. So, so the runway heading is zero one. Which is the joy show the video. There we go. Which FS Cloud shows. So there's the runway. So little little nav map is awesome. I've got coming over the town, there's no high rise building to talk at the end of the runway. In your round the world flight after South Africa, you could hop across the islands to India. The longest leg would be 1100 miles from Seychelles to Maldives. That's not bad, Larwood, because um, I'd be something quicker then. These guys do jets. How long would 1100 miles take in a decent jet? Used, uh, uh, Something like that, CRJ. Uh, so CRJ would be about maybe four or five hours plus. Okay. The weather permitting. Oh, I can just get the hawk. I always judge, I always try and judge my distances. Um, Canary Islands is around eight. Around a four hour to four and a half hour flight there. Yeah, it's a four hour flight. Yeah. yeah. So it's. You're probably looking at about five to six hours. There's an overall route between. I have to have a look at that. Do we have island hopping? Is it straight run? Go up the east coast and then through the Middle East instead of taking a long trip over the water. That's true. Oh, yeah. yeah. Getting to Australia, of course, even though New Zealand's going to be the final. But into Christchurch. So, not between those two, there's no islands. I have to look at alternatives, that's a bit, I could do it, four or five hours is doable, 
but that's not the thing I'd want to stream really. Not that length. But I'd, I'd quite happily just sit here for four or five hours. But after find you know, a couple of hours jaunt, or I'd say three, is probably long enough. That's probably what we've got in this to get us back. So it's something like three hours non-stop. I used to stream many moons ago and did long flights. I'd just do sort of the pre-flight, take off, level off, and then cut the stream and then start the stream again later on when coming to the top of descent. Yeah. Well, you could do that in a video. Yeah, I could do that and edit it. Yeah, that'd be, yeah that's probably better for something like YouTube, I thought, yeah. Yeah. Take off, level off, then do the journey, then, yeah, when you start to descend, then just edit back in again. But for a stream where you don't expect people just to sit there for four or five hours. Two or three, I can cope with just like I was yesterday, just sat here uh, on my own on Google. Yeah, I'll have to look at that, planning that route. I've got to plan a route around the UK to cover, so East Midlands, um, Cardiff, um, Bristol. I don't want to go to Gloucester, it's my local airport. Um, also Manchester for Ed. It'd have to be um, Humber. It's called the Liam is. A few names for it, but I won't mention any of them. Yeah. And then that's probably a good, a good last point actually to finish off there because then I can pop foot across to Denmark. So that's the point where I'd probably switch to the TBM. Leaving the UK. Well, actually, it'd be nice to get at the TBM from Gloucester, which is my local airport. We then do Gloucester to Humber in the TBM. Or we'll just do Gloucester to straight to Denmark. Not in one hit, obviously, it would be a long. If you're starting from Wick, you might want to see the left side as you're looking down the UK to Liam first. And then go across to yeah. Manchester. Yeah, you can cut, you can sort of zigzag down the country. Yeah, that's not a bad shot. Yeah, I've got that rep um, for the 172, which I've only flown once. So I, I do like the idea of using that in the UK. It'd be nice actually, the little side project I might do is fly it from um, Gloucester Airport up to Wick. So technically flying it there to meet the to meet this. Like free delivery. Yeah. And then I could fly this back to Gloucester. So this technically would be your house to Gloucester. Just for completion's sake. So I've flown this from where it was built to my local airport. So I don't know if any of there there's a couple of small airfields around me, I don't know if any of them will actually appear. I haven't looked. Micro lights and stuff flying off on the runway, usually about three miles from here. Um, I don't know if anything else. Obviously, the military stuff, I got Fairford not so far away. But I don't think they'd be impressed if I parked this up there. So it's not a million miles away either, is it? No. It's a shame it wasn't selected because there's Raw, which is where the um, Ebola drone is for uh, uh, the Grand Tour. That's about two miles from here. Yeah, I'll have to look and see what actually my closest one that in X-Plane is. And then, yeah, get this to there. Although, if it turns that I'm going to end up taking Tux's money easy, I could just do that. Just extend this trip rather than finish at Wick. Finish at that airport near me. They rub it in, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, not only do I get to the UK, I've got it home. 
by Christmas. Which that's only going to be, what, another two legs maybe? I mean, a, a Christmas day flight from Gloucester to the East Midlands to pick a £10 pound up wouldn't be taking a piss too much, would it? Oh, that'd be awesome. Or would it? <laughs> oh, I'd like your thinking. <laughs> I have to get, get a Christmas skin done for this. I'm sure there'll be some people tend to start bringing them out around now. Or well, one, well, just to rub it in, take the TBM. East Midlands, about two miles from where Tux is. Okay, I'm about 20 minutes out according to my display, and I've got about 22 minutes of fuel. I'm just going to speed up a little bit and get a little bit more efficient, and then I'll also hopefully land and give you guys a target time for <laughs> Fair play. Yeah, we're 21 minutes out according to me. So there we go, if you are watching this on YouTube and you've got this far, um, yeah, do please join us on Discord, uh, where you'll be able to see the uh, the antics of this uh, adventure. And so I will put some more bits of it out on YouTube, uh, and we will stream bits of it as well. Uh, every Sunday afternoon we will be streamed, um, but we're also doing legs on a Wednesday night, and I'm doing a few um, in other times I can get as well. The last leg will certainly be, um, if we can time it right, will be streamed. Um, and then we'll do bits and pieces going down the UK. So jump over onto Discord server, which will be uh, linked uh, in the description below if you're on YouTube. And if you're watching this live, we'll be um, around soon. Nightbot, I'm sure, will do its job. Yeah, flight has been the most popular category on Discord since I started it about two years ago. Oh, I'm coming out. I can see land the other side of this cloud. Land ahoy. So, oop, a little spinny. I can see James back there. Uh, lost Sam off of the... Uh, Oh, you're all over there. What are you doing all over there? I was just flying up the coast. I was. I had the idea of flying up the coast to have a look at the beautiful views. But Found it in the way. Yeah, something like that. I thought I didn't want to mess with the course too much because it was going relatively okay. So, okay, there we go. There's uh, James, Chris and me. If I zoom out a bit more, you should see, hopefully, there we go. No Spaniel ears. Uh, back behind us. You, you're catching us up, Kev. I'm miles behind. I just went to make a coffee and I came back and realised the plane is another few <laughs> That's not good. I suppose so my I had the kind of cheat. From my point of view, it's quite handy that it does fill this thing up with fuel. Although, I would have had enough left in it, I think, for this whole leg. So there's a the fuel uh, down there. So I'll show them if you're right. There we go. We can see land. It's out there at last. No more cloud. It's slowly starting to break up for me. I think I might just try and join you and land a little bit. And we are 49 miles away, which is going to take 19 minutes. Not a bad length for a year. Video, I suppose, about an hour and 45 minutes, a bit longer than I anticipated it being. First one going out on the flight Thursday for a while. Oh no, I've got a bit cloudy again. Which is good. If I can finish this and still get to the supermarket before it shuts. Real, real world problem. back and see if I can store that DC3. It's time to get it started. Harry, yeah, I can see you're in um, your invoice. Uh, obviously, once we get to know you a bit better, uh, we'll let you come into the voice chat with us. 
familiar with it. You're a bit of a pilot, post some pics. Join in with the conversation. Which is uh, exactly what these guys did. Well, Sam's been lurking for a while, haven't you, Sam? Yep. And so had Kev. Shane Tux didn't keep lurking, he keeps appearing. <laughs> well, he did disappear for about six months. Really? Yeah, rather annoying that he's back now. Just, just testing to see if he's watching. Be yeah, definitely out of the cloud now. Thankfully. I got the 172, I started to really like that 172. All those miles just tr trudging along at, at 100 knots. I'm thinking in terms of prop planes, I, I prefer like the, just the light aircraft, like the Piper and the C172GR. Mm. Favourites, I think. I do like this one, but it's a, it's a touch uh, quirky. I was a bit overwhelmed by this when I first jumped in it, thinking, oh my god. Uh, but now it's quite simple actually. The G1000 helps, obviously. But I do really like it. I'm sort of looking forward to, but a bit apprehensive by the TBM. Uh, the TBM is a bit easier. Okay, but a lot quicker. Quite a bit quicker, yeah. And it's only got one lever, so you do everything with one lever. Oh, blimey. What, so no prop RPM adjust and no mixture and yeah the computer does it all for you well, in that case I might be quite nice don't say that Chris because now I'm thinking about buying it <laughs> <laughs> I've clearly not learned my lesson with this one well, I have a quick look in the planes 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 picks I think I just posted a uh, of the pathway mode on the PFD. So it doesn't matter if you're in the clouds, you just follow the boxes. Yeah. I, I definitely see me, well, that TVM, I'm not going to have to wait till Christmas Day for it now. Because it's going to take, I'll be back at home before Christmas Day in this. Definitely seems like that. Well, yeah. It's gone through sort of seeming like it was impossible to, though it's actually not. It's so a couple of long legs, which is uh, that 440 mile one, is going to be a bit grooving, but I'll try and get that next weekend. That will be my uh, next Saturday afternoon. And that takes us to Iceland, so maybe next Sunday afternoon then we can do the trek across Iceland, which would be quite nice. And then I can do the next leg then, the Faroe Islands, and then do the Faroe Islands in. So yeah, we'll, we'll do it easily. About three weeks we'll be done. And then take a slow jaunt down through the uh, through the UK. And then yeah, Christmas Day flight, going to see Tuts in the TBM. <laughs> So we'll be streaming Christmas Day. We've got to plan those as well. We we'll try and do a different game each day. I always worry about Christmas because it's when the, uh, the steam sale comes up, and obviously with it being my birthday around then, I should be saving money for the house. I tend to spend it all on the PC. Yeah, I think I was sat here last Christmas Day morning at like 8 o'clock buying stuff on the Steam set. I woke up quite early, I don't remember it very well last year. I woke up very early and I just sat on Steam until Mrs. Elf Mike woke up and I'd already spent about 40 quid. <laughs> well, I then got a phone call about 10 o'clock on Christmas Day and spent the rest of the day in A&E. Um, yeah, it wasn't the best Christmas Day in the end, but it started off okay. <laughs> Yep. 
I don't and wait. And you think of it was crates. Yeah, actually, I think a lot of the stuff I bought might have been Christmas last year with some train sim. Yeah, I might have to put out a cheeky post in uh, Discord saying if anyone I've my, got uh, my uh, nearly run out of stuff to buy. I have to say, uh, if anyone lovely fans want to uh, buy me something for Christmas, you know, Steam, uh, Steam gift card. Uh, you're mapping your MFDs to your autopilot. Don't play, Harry. Where have we got to go? 32 miles, 12 minutes to go. You see Chris still ahead. The stock scenery is actually this isn't looking too bad. James is back there. That does look quite nice. Have a picture of that. If you're continuing after New Zealand, you'll probably have to go all the way up to Alaska, crossing the Pacific, but have legs of 1500 and 1400 miles, says Lyle. Yikes. Yep. Which again isn't out of the realms in something quick. But that's just long legs. That's something where I'd start the flight at night, go to bed, <laughs> put the autopilot on. Yeah. But I don't like the idea of like, just being not being here doesn't mean it means I'm not flying really. Yeah, I have to have a look at a total route. I hadn't thought about continuing after New Zealand, but technically I suppose the plane I fly to New Zealand would just be left there. You know it doesn't work like that, but I, I quite like the, the thought of wherever I end up with it, which is why I've done this is the continuous thing. You know, technically my 172 is still sat there back in the sand point. Which Sorry, just get someone to dismantle it and bring it over. Well, that's the, again, from a realism point of view, I'm now thinking, okay, what can I fly from Sandpoint back to the UK with the Cessna in it? Don't, don't necessarily make a new Well, that actually has a good point, that really. Chris, you need to look out for... I could, I could just fly over in the Amsterdam you have to look out, look out for a job. How small can we break down a 172? Well, and, and what have you got that in FS economy you can get it back in? And that point in the answer is time in it. Yeah, you have to break it down. Actually, that could be quite a good thing for to have someone, to me, be at Gloucester Airport in the plane and have someone fly in technically from wherever it's come from and deliver the 172 back. Mm, that's good. The chauffeur. Yeah. Well no, but in the in a cargo plane. I mean in the grand scheme of things that's Tux's job all over, isn't it, surely? If he lost this spare. Oh yeah. Tux, you've got to get the 172 back to the UK. Because <laughs> I've left it there. Oh, that sounds like... Uh, you'd either have to find the... You'd have to get a plane big enough to be able to take the wings off the 172 and get the 172 in it. Or fly the one, fly A172 back to the UK. Right, 22 miles out. Well, you know, it's 172. So... Probably any of... Just ask Airbus to borrow one of the Lugas. Yeah. Or, or ask um, Boeing to borrow the Dreamcaster. You're on the ground yet, yeah, Chris? I just saw you wobble around up there. Just about to turn on to final. So 
the heading is 01, wasn't it? So I need to probably go back to the heading. screen faded black because you forgot to set cabin pressure. Yeah, that, again that's oh. probably hinders the uh, progress somewhat. I managed to get down to a lower flight level inside there. I'd be too concerned about my cabin out for my pressures. Um, because the passengers are sitting in minus 10 heat anyway in the back. <laughs> yeah, well, four degrees for me in the back. Right. 16 degrees in the flight deck, but it's minus 10 in the back. That's a little bit chilly. Not so bad if you're carrying meat or something. Yeah. Well, I probably am now. <laughs> 16 miles out. Should probably descend. So it's down to 2,500. Pack's got booze, no worries.
there, not at all as dirt sir. So it stopped quite a bit. Cool. Hope you're clear by the time I get there. Should be. The uh, parking is right at the start of the runway, so I've got a backtrack. I should still make it quite easily. Seven miles out. We did start a long time behind us, so didn't we? Yeah. What are you cruising at? What's your speed? 165? Yeah, which is about what I was doing. Cool. Well, Jesse and Mrs. Pallab, so I best stop talking about spending money. <laughs> I haven't spent a penny, dear. Don't look at the bank statement. I'm impressed with the clarity of that microphone you've got. It does sound very good. Mm. That's cool. I was kind of paranoid about deafening everyone. No, I mean, we can turn your volume down in Discord. But no, it actually sounds really clear.
go. Get that to get pricey. Just trying to get out of the way before. I'm still going off. I'll just be outside now. Uh, right, James is on final when I... Uh, he's down and taxi him back. He's on his back. Yeah. I shouldn't close the doors on. <laughs> you see my alarm going off in the background. I've got a rating of great. Touchdown sync rate, 113 feet a minute. wait for Sam to come in and they will end proceedings. Kev's a bit too far out for us to wait for him. I'm sure you'll complete the journey, Kev. Ah, don't worry about waiting for me, man. The weather's actually quite nice here. And in comes Sam. Down. I'm going to wait for Sam to uh, backtrack and park up. Oh, there's a reverse, th reverse thrust is even a uh, very powerful on this. <laughs> and I've got two, so. Well, say this thing's got reverses, but I've got the maps. I usually up. just put it on a button on the. Uh, Using the T16 set at the minute, but the good thing about that little SciTech one is, as the uh, so you know where your throttles go forward and back. Yeah. At the when you pull them to the idle position, you can click them down, and that's what I've got my uh, reverse. It's actually quite good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna end up with one of those. I was trying to find find somewhere to put it. <laughs> Although I've got the uh, the um, uh, the Warthog throttle. Which is brilliant, but I don't use any of the buttons on it. There are like five, six thousand buttons on that, aren't there? Yeah, and it, it's awesome, but I just don't use it. So I think I might end up just. I, I wanted one, but I just didn't. I don't use it enough because I generally tend to fly Boeing's more um, anyway. So I prefer the. I like the joystick, but again, for the for the, for the cost of it, a another joystick would do the same job because I don't use any of the buttons on a joystick either. But, yeah, it'd be a shame to take the um, the Warthog off the desk, but I think that's what's going to have to happen. Which would give, actually give me a bit of space back, like I could put a drink there then. <laughs> so I'm actually going to gain a bit of desk space. It's got quite a large uh, base, hasn't it, it the, has. the joystick? Yeah, it's a good 8, 10 inches long. Which that's wedged between my desk and the, mix, the mixing desk, butts up to it, behind it. <laughs> And it just about, when I put the throttles forward, it just about clears the boom for the mic. And if I put knuckles in the wrong place, I twat my knuckles on the on the bike boom. Uh, I use a verbal clamp for the Warthog, it's great. I use There's the Warthog a throttle slider for reverse. Ah, the slider. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I think it's because it's on my right hand side. I keep forgetting about the slider on over there. I could use that for reverse, couldn't I? And you put it back to neutral. Oh, that's a good idea. I might have to map that. 
but I do like the idea of the little throttle quadrant. I might have a look at those um, at that headset first. There we go. Sam has arrived. James disappeared. No, I'm Okay, yeah, you were over there in the grass earlier. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you're there now. In the lake. <laughs> yeah, you're over there now. Was like, my alarm's still going off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I landed with a bit of a thump. Um, There we go, that's a screenshot moment. Right, there. Is there, there maybe a red switch on the top part of the dash on the right-hand side? If there is, try flicking that to switch the alarm off. Um, not that I can see. Oh, sorry, I can't remember the dash of the Kodiak right at the moment. There's nothing up above me. There probably is a reset. I've got it. Yeah, it was a... Uh, what does that say? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Emergency use only. Yeah. Press on for one I second. I think that, that was an emergency after all. Well, yeah, it thought I'd crashed. <laughs> <laughs> battery off and alarm still going. Yeah, it's an emergency beacon, isn't it? It'll, buy, it'll just run off the battery anyway. EPUB's gone off. Like yeah. the boat sinks and it says the EPUB off. Yeah, so that's what happened. I did come down with a bit of a whack then. I thought it was quite a smooth landing, personally. Uh, textures are insane. Yeah, the uh, the Kodiak is uh, pretty damn awesome. I'm getting closer to the microphone now because I'm looking closer with track IR. Um, but yeah, this thing is uh, incredible as a plane. Um, so there we go. I will end that. James is now in the air. Is on mine. <laughs> it looks fantastic because he's in a Greenland Express. The irony. Fucker uh, one hundred. Nice. Um, oh no, he's come back down to the ground with a thump. Now there we go. Um, so there we go. I'll end that there. So that's, that's two legs technically. Uh, we did, although we skipped one. Uh, with ten legs to go, um, which I will. Uh, yeah, we might carry on from here. Actually, what's, what's the next leg? Um, one hundred fifty-one miles. Yeah, we'll carry on from here on Wednesday night, uh, I think, and do the 151 miles uh, on Wednesday. And then I can do the uh, 182 miles next Saturday or next weekend before doing the 444. Um, yeah, next Sunday after. Oh, yeah, I've got to try and work this out now. Unless I can do the 182 before Wednesday. We'll do one of those anyway on Wednesday night. All bets are off if you're cheating. Skipped a leg, says Tux. No, we didn't skip a leg. We just we, we flew over the airport. We flew over the airport. We we flew over the um over the VOR for it. Yeah, there we go, Tux. We should have done CYSK to see. Well, I'm keeping an eye on. I am moderating Tux. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm not letting anything land. We, go we should off. have done this today, CYPH. But we decided to crack on and flew over CYPH to CYPX. So we've gone over the airport. So we're, we're now here. So, and then I'll either do that one on my own, the 151 before Wednesday, which only leaves me for tonight, really. Um, and then do the 182 on Wednesday, which leaves me the 444. That's okay, but you said you skipped a leg. No, we didn't skip. Well, we, we didn't land. We flew over it. So there we go. So like, Tux is the person I've got the bet on. I can't get this plane back to the UK with uh, by Christmas. But it's going to happen, Tux. Um, so, right, so there we go. I will end that there. Thanks to um, Sam for tagging along uh, again. Thank you. Uh, and to Chris for uh, for being here again as well. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you. It was good fun. Uh, yeah, and for James, as always, in your little Spitfire. Thanks for coming along. And a new one for voice. Um, thank you very much, Kev, for joining us, although you said about half an hour away. Cheers, man. There we go. Um, so yeah, back again on uh, which I might stream actually on Wednesday night. We'll do the next leg, um, and uh, yeah, I'll be back streaming again. Something else on Friday night, which may be trains or trucks or something on Friday night. Um, so there we go. We'll end that there. Thanks everybody. <laughs>